Welcome to the A to Z of Dynamics 365 Marketing. We are on the letter W and W is all about websites. Let's jump in. Okay, so we're going to review the marketing websites functionality in the marketing app. If I scroll down to internet marketing, we have marketing websites. There will be one that's in there already that is a default website. Now that one, we could use that one and make changes to it and use that, or we can start and add a brand new one. I'm going to do that just to show you how easy it is. If I click new, I have, I've mentioned this before, a podcast with my friend Lisa Crosby. So I'm going to just call this The Up Podcast, and then I'm going to provide a link and we'll put that in there. And once I've done that, I'm just going to go ahead and click save. Now, what this has done is this has generated some code for me that until I actually put this code onto my website, then I'm not going to really be getting anything from this. So I have to set up the record within the marketing app. Then I would take this and give it to whoever is responsible for my website. They would be able to then go ahead and add that code either into Google Tag Manager, if that's being used to kind of edit all code, or it could be added directly into the um, header or the footer of the code itself on the website. So once that's been put in there, then what we can do is we can go ahead and we can review the insights, which we'll look at, at the moment in, in a moment. What we've also then got is a timeout. So the timeout would be how long do we want to wait to consider um, what would be like a session for somebody going to the website and then being able to review it? We can change that timeout. Now, the timeout is set by default at 20 minutes. Now, what we're given here is two different pieces of code. So if you're going to be using marketing forms, you're going to create the marketing forms within the, the marketing app and people are going to be filling out that forms. Uh, sorry filling out those forms, etc. then you only need to put this JavaScript code in there. You do not need to do the form capture code as well. That would be if you're going to use some kind of form that was designed externally to the marketing app. And for some reason, you want to be able to capture and then pass data back through into Dynamics 365. So for the majority of people, you're just going to put that JavaScript code that you see here and add that into the website. Okay, so if I go back to marketing websites and I look at this one that's already been set up, we've already got tracking code on there, I can now go into the insights area and I can first of all get the top 10 pages based on unique visits, so we can see those. We can then get an overview to see website clicks and also website visits. So remember I said that on the settings for the marketing website, we can have a timeout, so that would be could be a bunch of different pages viewed, but within a visit. So we've got 20 minutes would constitute a visit. So we, what we can then do is let's go ahead and do full screen. And we could then zoom in to North America, for example. I could go to USA. I could then um, click on that and it will then disperse. So now we can see, okay, well, that's how it's broken out throughout the different states in the US. We could then go into um, Texas here. Oh, let's go back out. And then we can see, okay, based on um, Texas, we can then see the different cities within Texas and drill down further and further. So we can go ahead and we can look at all of our traffic and drill down to see specific locations. What we can also do is then look individually at visits. And if the person who had visited the website is a contact that we've already got on our system and either they filled out a form previously or they've gone through and we sent them an email and they've clicked on a link within that email, we're then putting a cookie onto their browser so we know who it is. So we might end up seeing like here a named visit from a specific contact. So we know Jane Doe visited this specific page, that's where she came from, and so on, the timestamp. Um, any forms that might be on there, we might see form visits, and then also any form submissions as well, if you've got that set up. So W is for website, making sure that you've got your tracking code so you can see the visits that are coming through and how that's tied to your Dynamics 365 marketing data.
Hi, I'm Megan Walker. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and that you learned something from it. If you don't want to miss out on any other content, you can go ahead and click on my face below to subscribe. And if you want to watch the next video, you can do that by clicking over here and go ahead and get started. Thanks again.